Zoom now has Microsoft Outlook and Google Mail integration built right into the client. I'm gonna show you next. Toggle tax, application affinity, context switching. These are just a few of the terms that we use in the industry when we talk about users having to switch between windows to do their job. For example, say you're a Microsoft Teams user and you wanna go check your email. What do you have to do? You have to minimize Microsoft Teams. You have to maximize Outlook, check your email, then go back to Microsoft Teams to chat. What if you can do it from just a single client? You can in Zoom. A Harvard Business Review showcased that the most knowledge workers switch apps 1,200 times a day. By the way, that's 9% of your day toggle taxing between applications. Zoom wants to fix that, and we're striving to do so with one example called Mail and Calendar Integration with Microsoft Outlook and Google Mail. So let's take a look and see how it's done. I gave this demo a couple of weeks ago at Zoomtopia where I showcased how a user using the Zoom client could use Microsoft Outlook inside of that client, not having to leave that client to check email, reply to email, forward email, Email, even look at their calendar. So here's a recording I did of the demo. It's not live, but you get the point. It's the same process. So I'm in my Zoom client. I've opened up the client for the day. I'm going to see my calendar. Right away, you can see in the middle of the screen, I already have an open calendar with my next meeting on it. On the right side of the screen, you can see Microsoft Calendar integration right from there where I can see all my meetings for the day. At the top of the screen, you can also see a couple of other things. The mail client is right there. I now have full access to all of my mail in Microsoft Outlook. You can see the top left-hand corner, it is Outlook. And I can see all of the regular folders that I would typically see in Outlook, Inbox, Drafts, all of that sort of stuff. You can see that I have full access to all of my email too. I'm gonna move my camera over just a little bit. There you go. And now you can see that I can reply to emails, I can forward emails, I can highlight emails, I can move emails right from here to other folders. I can mark as unread. I can even print emails right from my Zoom client. I can also filter emails from unread to starred to important to even one that has attachments right from my Zoom client. You can also go to my settings and see that I have Microsoft Outlook integrated right from there. If I go to change settings, you can see that you can use Z uh, Zoom Mail. You can use Outlook calendaring. You can also use Google to set this up with all of your mail. I also have a calendar tab. Guess what? It pulls up the exact calendar for Microsoft Exchange that I'm using inside of my Zoom client. I can create new events right from here. Using the Zoom client, I can create Outlook calendar events. I'm gonna pick a meeting from four to four, five o'clock. You know how to set up a meeting, but you could also see all of the policies that I have on my Zoom client applied to this calendar invite, such as enabling continuous meeting chat. I can set up an offline meeting. I can set up a Zoom meeting. I can even set up a Zoom phone call. Set up to public or private, obviously depending on what my calendar settings are and then I can set it to free or busy. All these options, again, available right from Zoom with that Microsoft Outlook integration. If I want to add a whiteboard from Zoom, I can add a whiteboard into this Microsoft Outlook meeting. Let's do that real quick. I'll just do a Venn diagram, add that to the event, that everyone that gets this meeting will now get that whiteboard inside of their Outlook client. You can see right there, it's in my, new it's in my calendar right from my Zoom client, even though it really is an exchange. You can see it's on my calendar bar on the right side as well for easy access no matter where I'm at in the Zoom client. Let's go to Teams real quick. Teams uses the same calendar as well as Zoom and Outlook. Guess what? That exact same calendar is right in both clients. And now I can start the Zoom meeting right from Microsoft Teams with one click. I would show you the Google integration, but guess what? It's email. It looks exactly the same. It doesn't matter. Google or Microsoft Exchange work inside of the Zoom client. So that's a real quick demo on how Zoom is trying to decrease toggle tax, increasing application affinity, allowing knowledge workers to do more of their job inside the Zoom client without ever having to switch out of the client. By the way, my wife got me this new uh, Halloween decoration shirt. So if you notice it, it's got skulls all over it. Nothing to do with the demo. I just thought it was super cool. If you like these sort of demos, follow me on LinkedIn or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do work for Zoom as a distinguished architect. I'm not a figurehead or a spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology. And a lot of times that has to do with Zoom. Have a great day. Yeah.